from around the globe, it's theCUBE, with digital coverage of AWS reInvent 2020, sponsored by Intel, AWS, and our community partners. All right, you're continuing coverage of AWS reInvent 2020 virtual event. We get the pleasure of covering this show like no other AWS reInvent. We are pulling in from the other side of the world, Tomer Levy, CEO of logs.io, first time Cuber. So we're going to ease them into it, but it's going to be a great conversation. I'm Keith Townsend at CTO Advisor. Tomer, welcome to the show. Keith, thank you for having me. I'm super excited to be here. You know what? We love having founders here on theCUBE. We have a long history of having deep conversations with builders. And we're at probably the show for builders. AWS reInvent is virtual. However, I think the spirit of reInvent is highlighted in companies like this. We've seen a lot of observability companies sprout up around the industry. AWS is a big, big magnet for these types of solutions. What's the essence of logs.io and how are you guys differentiating yourselves in this crowded space? Yeah, absolutely, Keith. You see observability is, is so fundamental to building applications on AWS that as companies develop more applications, they have to have solid observability. And um, we, have a, we have a mission and, and our mission is to enable DevOps engineers and any engineer out there to use open source uh, to run their observability. So when we were developers, we wanted to use open source, but we had to compromise on, on a proprietary solution. We, we decided to, found, to build the company so engineers can use the observability tools they're already using for logging, for metrics, for tracing, whatever they're already using, we want to enable them to use that at scale on AWS, so it's easy to use, so it's super smart and the data is correlated. And I think fundamentally it's what we're doing very differently in the market. There is no other company in the market today that takes the best open sources and bring them together as one super strong platform. And, and we're proud to be that company. Well, when you say there's no other company doing open source, the way that you guys are doing it, that really intrigues me, especially as we look at this from the angle of Kubernetes you know, uh, the CEO of, of the leading virtualization company called Kubernetes, the Dow tone of the internet. How do you see the intersection of open source observability in Kubernetes, especially in the public cloud? Yeah, for sure. People say that uh, Kubernetes is almost the operating system of the future. And, and why, why do people use Kubernetes? They use it to make sure they can run multiple microservices. They can take their application, which used to be a monolith and put it in a distributed way. So it becomes so much harder to monitor, to troubleshoot, even to secure applications. So the way we built Logs.io was really designed for companies that are moving into the cloud, companies moving into Kubernetes, into microservices, and by having logs and metrics and traces all work together through the best open sources, I think we can help customers really get the visibility and just accelerate their software delivery, just provide better service to their customers. So Levy, walk me through that journey. What is it like for a developer to come from their traditional open source roots and enter the cloud where they're melding public cloud services in AWS alongside their tools that they're used to using and observability? How do you help ease that transition? Yeah, absolutely, Keith, because one of the main drivers to, for companies adopting tools like Logs.io is actually the migration to AWS. So imagine you're now migration to a new, a new ground. What do, you, what do you have to think about? First, do I have the glasses? Can I see what's going on? Like when I see what's going on, I feel more confident. So if I'm now using, let's call it ELK, or using the open source Grafana, or using tools like Jaeger, which are all open source tools that we offer as part of our platform, so when I use these tools, I'm, I'm using them to get visibility into my own application, my own infrastructure. 
So log zero, first, the transition to log zero is super easy. This is the whole notion of having an open source compatible uh, uh, platform. So I want to move to log zero. Everything that worked with my open source currently still works with log zero. But now when you move to the cloud, log zero and AWS, they have, we have a very strong relationship. So all the services are automatically monitored. You have pre-configured dashboard, everything is interconnected. So, so just when I jump into the logs up to the AWS platform, I immediately get visibility of my existing apps and of the AWS infrastructure. And that eventually helps me become confident, grow and you know, deliver faster on AWS. So again, we're, this is a conference full of builders, but you use the term DevOps. We're starting to see a bleeding of DevOps and builders or operations and builders come together. One of the big trends and DevOps and observability is AI and machine learning. What are some of the features of AI and machine learning you guys are bringing to bear to this market? Yeah, listen, I, I, I'm a big believer in AI. You know, the amount of data that companies like Logzero have to ingest and our customers have to process, it's just something a human being cannot possibly understand. It's like billions and millions of lines of, of data. So, so when this is where we bring machines to help humans, I'll give you one example, right? If you're a software, if you're a DevOps engineers, engineer and you see an issue in your logs, what do you do? You usually copy that and put it into Google and you'll end up on Stack Overflow, maybe on GitHub, maybe on another website. What we have done is we've scraped the web and we have learned from any other any user on our platform. So we actually know which log line is important and which one is not. So when companies send a log line, our AI automatically scans it and says, hey, here are a billion log lines no one cares about, but here is one that you should really look at right now because, hey, there are you know, half a million people that were searching for it. There are 7,000 alerts on this and it just happened to you, Keith. So maybe you should jump in and look at that. This is where AI makes us just better operator, better DevOps people and not kind of try to replace us. So I'm a technical founder, you're a technical founder. The, the Cube loves supporting founders. One of the advantages of being the CEO of your company is that you get to decide the culture and the mission of your company. Talk to me about the people side of your, your organization and how you're making a change for the better. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it is, it is a privilege and it is a privilege to start and, and, uh, and come with a mission that you want to change something in the world. And, and, you know, we were just two developers, Asaf, my co-founder and myself, you know, having to use a product we didn't want to use and, you know, still really wanted to use an open source product. So, so we said, let's build a company around that. And, and this is kind of set the mission for the company. And as the company evolved, and so is our mission. It evolved from logging to monitoring, to tracing. And we also added uh, a cloud SIM solution, all based on open source. So we're going to DevOps engineers and any engineers and we tell an engineer and we tell them, hey, you can use the best open source, open source tools in the cloud as one platform without compromising. And that's something that, really is, is very differentiated today. And, and I, I'm, I'm very humble and excited to be part of this journey. And I think the team at Logzero is as well. You know, I always intrigued about this journey to the cloud. Security is one of these things that intrigues me, especially as we look at something as mature in the way open source. We often associate open source with public cloud, uh, cloud native, but open source is, as old as technology itself. So there's a lot of practices practices that we bring from legacy traditional infrastructures into the public cloud. So talk to me about that transition of security and security models. How does observability help to either take our existing tools and migrate them to the public cloud or adopt all new cloud native tools in the public cloud? Yeah, for sure. I think I think security is probably together with observability one of the top priorities that you know when you think about CTOs and VP of engineering and and CISOs they're, they're concerned about. So so we've taken the the observability path in bringing better glasses to our to our 
users. And then on the security side, there's a whole market called the SIM market, where companies look at you know, detecting threats, investigating them. And most of these tools were, that companies use are legacy incumbents that were designed on the on-premises world and are not really a fit for the dynamic world of Kubernetes and the cloud. And this is when we decided a couple of years ago to launch a product in that space. And today, um, you know, this product is extremely successful. We have, we have customers protecting their AWS environments across the board. So basically with one product for observability, you can with a single checkbox enable security and then you can detect threats. You can look at the kind of the common uh, pitfalls of AWS environment and how you can avoid them. And eventually when you see a threat, you can use our tool to investigate and find the root cause in a tool which was designed on AWS for AWS. And it's really, really designed for the kind of the native cloud environment rather than the on-premises one. Now, is there an integration between the AI ML log management and the threat management solutions, solutions from an observability perspective? Yeah, for, for sure. This is the beauty. It's all one data platform. So customers ship their data, logs, metrics, and traces into one place. And then we start to look at how do we, can we provide more value on the data, right? How can we look at the uh, logs from an operational perspective and tell you, hey, your production might be going down because of a production uh, risk, or maybe we can provide you threat intelligence. We can enrich the data and tell you, hey, we think you're undergoing an attack right now. So this is all done by users and it is all enriched by AI that provides more visibility, more enrichment of the data and just advice on where to look. So Toma Levy, CEO, founder of logs.io. You're now a Cube alum. Thank you for joining the sh show. I hope you have a very successful AWS reInvent. Speaking of AWS reInvent, the Cube's nonstop coverage of AWS reInvent continues. Watch some of the world's greatest builders, innovators get challenged on their vision and for us to understand and appreciate the work that's been done in this dynamic community continue to watch this coverage and more. Talk to you next interview on theCUBE's coverage of AWS reInvent 2020.